today is Friday and we're going to do our fairy and gnome gardening that we have for ages 6 through 12. So what you have in your little bag or that you got in your summer reading bag is a little cup. Looks like this. And I already have dirt right here. What you're going to do is you're going to go outside and you're going to dig you up some dirt or just get a scoop of dirt. You can put rocks in here, twigs, any little thing really. I mean if you've got dolls, anything. And I put like a few of these little ceramic things in there. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with mine. So I already have my dirt. And what you're going to do with your little cup, I'll scoop it in here. Get some dirt. And make sure it's like all spread out and nice and neat looking. Now, you can put twigs in here. You can put sticks. You can put anything in here. Um, and it's really cute. You could put a plant if you wanted to. I didn't do a plant though because I thought it was just easier to have the cup and you can go out in your yard and find the dirt. Um, you can read a fairy story to your child or your, if you can read. You can read your own fairy story and then you can put together your little fairy garden. And it's something that's just super easy to do. Um, you can do it with recycled materials such as dirt or twigs because you it's going to go back into the earth. Um, we have, I've got a little fairy. She's reading a book. Come closer. She's reading a little cute book. That's what I had in mind. And a little snail. I don't have any twigs, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a few more little sprinkles of dirt in there and flatten it out. So it looks like that. And if you have any like jewels at home, like any hair braids or anything like that, you can take that and put it in there too. And come around there. Or rocks if you have rocks. I don't have any rocks on hand right now, so I'm using this. You can pull them around. Put your snail or whatever little animal you have in there. Or your Barbie. And then your little fairy. And here is the fairy garden. Super easy. That's what it'll look like. And you can read a fairy story before or after. Sit outside with it. Put it in your bedroom. Just something super cute and easy. So, I will see you all next week for our next step that we're going to do. I know next Tuesday we're going to be doing our um, research and projects so you can learn more about your family history. You just tune in and watch all the different things that we'll tell you about. You just ask your family questions. You can take your thumb and put paint on the end of it or color it with Sharpie and put your fingerprint around the page and with your family's fingerprint and then label it who it is. That way you have that for later on. But I hope you enjoyed making